Hello and welcome to another C Sharp coding homework exercise for Windows Forms. In this one, we are going to create a Celsius to Fahrenheit table uh, output into a list box. Let's assume the uh, C is a Celsius temperature. In that case, the following uh, formula calculates the Fahrenheit temperature F equals 9 divided by 5 multiplied by C, which is the Celsius, plus 32. So that's the formula to calculate Fahrenheit conversion from Celsius. Create an application that displays a table of the Celsius temperature 0 to 20 and their Fahrenheit equivalents. The application should use a loop to display the temperatures in a list box. So uh, I already have the form ready. There's just one button and one list box. We click the uh, button and we run the loop 0 through 20 to output the Celsius and Fahrenheit uh, temperatures in the list box. Okay, so uh, I'll double click the create button and we can start coding. Now we know that the, uh, they want us to do 0 to 20, but I'm going to create a constants for these because that way we can change it anytime to other numbers, let's say from 5 to, I don't know, 50 or something like that, whatever you want. Uh, so uh, let's do a constant integer and it's going to be the minimum temperature and uh, that equals in this case 0 and the maximum temperature that they want us to do is 20 in this case. So maximum temperature equals 20. And we need to calculate the Fahrenheit so that's going to be a decimal and I'll just call it F for Fahrenheit. All right, so um, now let's do the loop. That's very simple. So it's for loop and the integer i equals zero, which in this case is the minimum temperature. It doesn't have to equal zero. If we change it to, uh, let's say five, then minimum temperature will equal five and i will equal five as well, of course. So, but that's why we have the constant. So i equals minimum temperature and i is less than the maximum temperature and i plus plus and within the for loop we'll calculate the temperature for each of the iteration within the loop so f equals and the formula is 9 divided by 5 multiplied by the celsius temperature which is represented by i now we're looping through temperatures 0 through 20 so 0 Celsius, 1 Celsius, 2 Celsius, all the way to 20 Celsius. So we'll multiply by I, which is the Celsius, and add 32. So this is the actual formula. And now we can display the uh, temperature for Celsius and Fahrenheit into a line in a list box. So we'll simply add uh, into a list box. I'll name it LST table, so LST table that items.add and we are adding uh, the Celsius which is I and Fahrenheit which is the result of the calculation stored in the variable F. So I'm gonna format it a little into a table so I'm gonna use a tab so it's not right on the left uh, side of the of the list box so we'll tab it out one uh, tab and we'll output the Celsius in other words I then Let's do two tabs and then let's output the Fahrenheit, which is the F, because that's what we just calculated. So uh, this is the formula. This is the output. Let's see what we get. So I'm going to run it. I click create table and I have it formatted, you know, the, the uh, semi formatted anyway. Uh, there's some spaces, the tabs. We start from zero and it goes to 19. It doesn't go all the way to 20. That's the first thing to notice. Second is that the Celsius are correct, 0 through 19. We're still missing the 20, but uh, the Fahrenheit is 32, 33, 34, all the way to 51. So there's something wrong with the way. They basically just increase by 1. And the reason for that is uh, we are working with decimals, 9 divided by 5. But... Uh, the calculation, the result, is uh, not uh, keeping all the 
decimal numbers it's uh, so we need to ma tell the compiler to keep all the numbers after the decimal point so to do that I'll do 9 and M which is a indication that it's a decimal calculation and it will keep the results in decimal so if I run it now the uh, calculations for Fahrenheit are correct I know 0 Celsius is 32 degrees of Fahrenheit so that is correct and you can see that the increment is in decimals now we're still missing the uh, 20th uh, uh, Celsius, uh, 20 degrees of Celsius, and that's because our loop says the I, which starts for a zero, is less than the maximum temperature, which is 20. But we don't include 20 in this case because it's less than 20. In other words, just to, up to 19. So we need to do it's less or equal to 20 because we want to include the maximum temperature, not up to it, but up to and include the temperature so let's run it and uh, now we have 20 results 0 through 20 and the calculations are correct but we don't know what this actually is what's this column and what's this column so let's put a little like a header for uh, each of the columns so um, we don't want to output a new header within the loop because every iteration would output a new line of the header the header simply stays on the top of the list box so we go before we loop before the for loop we output the header into a list box so lst that items that add and we can add um, celsius as the as the column that's gonna be the first column then let's do a tab and then do Fahrenheit so it will output column of Celsius then tab and Fahrenheit but uh, this is probably not gonna be formatted correctly yet yeah they're, they're kind of stuck together and uh, so let's add some uh, some spaces there uh, I'll do one two three just a couple of spaces to space it out within the within the list box there you go that looks good so it's kind of nicely formatted uh, in the center of the of the heading and we have now a scroll bar because uh, the window is not big enough to hold 20 results but there are 20 0 through 20 okay so uh, this was fairly simple I hope it helps I hope you liked it and I will see you in the next video Take care.